Sup, Rotona? It's a Rotona station here. Excuse me if I sound tired. This is actually uh, less emotional exhaustion and more physical exhaustion because, um, let's see. For the past couple nights, I've been having trouble falling asleep, and then there are the nightmares, and I'm just really, 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 really tired. I had some really bad nightmares last night and the night before. Um, but I wanted to make this video because I cannot stand people who like to copy other people's work and call it theirs. And, um... Somebody recently informed me that somebody else had um, basically rewritten my dreary fanfiction. Well, that escalated quickly. And so um, somebody had narrated parts of it um, on, their, on their channel, which I'm not going to say the name of the narrator, because the narrator's not the writer, and the narrator had no idea that it was stolen. And so, um, I guess the story was called Dominance or something, which I'm like, huh, that's funny, I have a DBZ fanfic called Domination. You know, so I'm sitting there going, you know, already, you know, maybe a coincidence, but, so I listened to this narration, and oh my god, it was a complete rewrite of, well, that escalated quickly, um, except that there was choking, but, you know, maybe that was partially taken from eye candy, if they had been reading eye candy, too, um, because in Well, That Escalated Quickly, Harry's not a masochist, but in eye candy, uh, he is a masochist, so... But, um, so the story was written by some stupid brat called Organic Love or something. That's their YouTube name. And I continuously asked them, you know, what were you thinking? Why did you steal this from me? You know, what made you think this was okay? And they could not give me an answer. And I'm like, you know, I don't know how old this person is. Uh, apparently old enough to try and write smut. Um, but the narrator did not know, and um, so she took the narrations down, and Organic Love said that it wasn't posted anywhere else, but <laughs> you can't trust a thief, so, you know, I just, I have no idea what the fuck was going through this person's head when they either read or listened to Well That Escalated Quickly and thought, hmm, I should rewrite this and make it my own. Look, being inspired by something is different than stealing something. It, 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 it's not the same. You know, if you... Okay, if you were like, hey, this inspires me to write my own fanfiction. But your fanfiction has to be your own fucking thing. You don't take it from others and call it yours. I mean, was it like, I'm going to try and steal this story and she'll never know, so it's okay. Or, or I'm going to try and steal the story because it's popular on her channel, so I'm going to get popular too. You know, I don't really know how popular my Dreyer fanfictions are on my channel. Apparently a lot of people like them. But it's like... <laughs> I'm just like, how stupid are you? You know, I have a lot of fans, and a lot of fans who like a lot of my stuff, and eventually, you know, they're gonna come across something, and they're gonna tell me about it, and I'm gonna check it out, and if it's legit legitimately not mine, then, you know, I'm gonna be like, it's okay, but this was such blatant copying. It wasn't word-for-word -word plagiarism, but all of the ideas were there. The scenes were there. Everything was there. And I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't just take other people's stuff. It reminds me of that Tool song, Jerk Off. Hang on, let me go find the lyrics. 
So I know I've probably gone through these lyrics before. I love this song. It's so angry. So it says, Someone told me once that there is a right and wrong and that punishment will come to those who dare to cross the line. But it must not be true for jerk-offs like you. Maybe it takes longer to catch a total asshole. But I'm tired of waiting. Maybe it's just bullshit and I should play God and shoot you myself because I'm tired of waiting. Consequences... Uh show more consequences dictate our course of action and it doesn't matter what's right it's only wrong if you get caught if consequences dictate my course of action i should play god and shoot you myself i'm very tired of waiting i should kick you beat you fuck you and then shoot you in your fucking head seriously if you think oh they're never gonna find out it's okay (laughs) fucking stupid ass motherfucker i mean I have to say that, you know, with this particular thing, you don't deserve to be shot in the head. Um, Obviously, MJK is talking about something a lot worse. Um, But not only should you be ashamed of yourself, organic love, I'm calling you out. You shouldn't be just ashamed of yourself. You should be embarrassed. You should feel just outright guilty. You need to feel as shitty as possible. And I just feel like that nothing, nothing has come, come of this. You, you apparently have just gotten off scot-free. Oh, it's removed. Everything's okay now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry doesn't mean shit. You couldn't even give me a proper explanation of why the fuck you stole it. So, no. I'm making sure that, I mean, I'm not like, the top channel, so I can't make it so that millions of people know, but I can at least inform my fans of this, and hopefully, um, if they were to, um, keep their eyes out for similar fan fictions by you, uh, even if you're under some kind of other name or something, that they would tell me. And, you know, I just, I, I can't fucking, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I, I just, seriously, I can't, I, I have no idea. I can't think of a reason why that's okay. I don't know why you thought it was okay. I mean, they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but, I mean, if you liked my work, If you liked me at all, you wouldn't have fucking copied my story that I came up with out of my own brain. Alright? If if you can't think of your own fucking story, then don't write your own fucking story. And if you have to copy my story, don't post it. Keep it to yourself privately. Don't post it. Don't post shit you take from other people. Seriously. It's not cool. Like, on DeviantArt, people would um take my art all the time, and I know a lot of you um, artists on DeviantArt know how it is and understand the frustration and that DIA doesn't really do much, especially if it's not your work that you see someone else has stolen. Then you try to report them, and it's like, no, the creator has to file a DMCA takedown notice. So, you know, I know how you feel about that, but it's like, say, if somebody took my art and turned it into something else, but never posted it, not without my, uh, without my permission. Now, if somebody asked me permission, I can say yes or no. And I've asked permission from other artists, you know, can I color this and post it? Yes or no. I hate it when the artists don't answer me because that's just fucking rude. If you say no, then I'm not going to be all like, oh, well, your art sucks anyway. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm going to take no for an answer, you know, and I've done that before. And I say thank you for responding, because I appreciate people responding, even if it's just with a no. You know, you could have kept this to yourself, organic love. 
You you could have you could have kept kept it to yourself, but no, you had to post it. You had to trick somebody into narrating it for you. That that poor person had no idea, and so you're just a liar. You're a thief. You're a fuck up, and you need to start learning some responsibility, honesty, integrity, and just goddamn common sense. You fucked hard. You are a jerk off. And you need to learn right from wrong. And I really hope that somehow this teaches you a lesson. And I fucking, I, I cannot, I cannot fucking believe you. You, you need to feel as shitty as possible. Now, I'm not saying this for my fans to go attack you. That's on their own volition. I personally, <laughs> I have to be honest. I wouldn't mind if they did. But I don't want to, I also don't want to encourage them to attack you. It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a conflicting feeling where you want to be the mature person and you don't want to say, hey guys, go attack this person. But at the same time, if they choose to do it on their own, then I'm okay with it. I don't know. I'm a bad person in some ways. So that's that, but that's what happens when you wrong me. Okay. You, you just, you, Grab the bull by the horns just because you thought that the bull wouldn't notice. And you don't fucking fuck with me. I don't let people fuck with me. There's not much I can do on the internet. You know, I can't grab your throat and punch you in the fucking face like I want to. But, you know, I can complain. I can rant. And I can tell you to go fuck yourself. Whether or not you're you're watching this video. So go fucking fuck yourself. You know, fuck yourself standing up, sitting down, running, I don't care. Fuck yourself. And, like, not in the good way. Just, like, just fuck yourself. Oh, my God. I fucking hate idiots like this. Just... How hard is it to do your own shit? It's not that hard, oh my god. And if you don't have the fucking imagination, then just don't try. Just don't. And I, I, I mean, I could just keep repeating myself over and over because of how angry I am, but... You know, I think I've made my point, and I'm tired, and there's a windstorm outside, and I don't know what I'm going to work on because I'm afraid to do anything that requires saving in case the power goes out, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So yeah, there's my cat. She's meowing at me. So I guess if you like any of my stuff, leave a like. Spread the word of Yes Meow My cat. Did you know cats only meow at people? Kittens meow at their parents when when you know they want them to know something. But when they grow to be adults, uh they get out of that habit and cats usually communicate with each other through scent, facial expression and and body language. Meow. And so they've learned that since humans can't communicate that way toward them, that they have developed the habit of being vocal. Hi. I don't know what you want. Leave a like, spread the word of awesome, become a retonite, and I shall see you later, alligators and crocodiles. Don't forget to click that little bell. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>